Hello, Divination, and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to download and install our free header and footer template for Divi's Tarot Layout Pack. This is the final result we're aiming to achieve. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. All right, so the first thing you need to do is to head over to this blog, which I'll link to in the show notes below. So what you want to do when you get to this page is to download this layout. So I am going to uh, click on this button which says get it for free today. Add your email address and then click on download. Next, you want to click on download the files. And you can see here the files have been downloaded onto my computer. So now I'm going to go into this folder. So now let me show you where this file is. So here it is. I'm going to double click on it to unzip it. And now the folder is down here. So we're going to double click again so we can go and see this single file. This is the file that we need. All right, so I'm just going to drag this to the side for a bit. And then we're going to go now to our website. And this is how we're going to install it. Scroll all the way down here to Divi. Click on Theme Builder. And as you can see here, we don't have any templates installed. And in fact, you know what? Let me show you what this looks like right now. So as you can see, our header here is pretty basic. This is what you get out of the box when you install Divi. And over here on the bottom as well, we don't really have a footer. So what we're going to do now is to install the file that we've just downloaded. And to do that, you want to click here on portability, click on import. And now I need to add that file that I've just downloaded. So here it is. I'm just going to drag it over here and then making sure override the default um, website template is checked and also allow to import or override existing assignments is also checked. You can just click now on import DV theme builder templates. So now that our header and footer has been installed, all we have to do now is to click on save changes. And now when we go over here to our header and refresh this page, we are going to notice now that we have a new design. There we go. So you can see here that our design here for our header has changed. And when I scroll down here to the bottom, you can also see that this is also updated. Now let's talk about how we can customize this and make this look the way we want. So let's go back over here to our theme builder. And if I click here on this pencil icon, it takes us, it takes us now to our builder. And uh, to start customizing this, let's start here with the menu. So I'm going to click here on this gear icon, and this is going to take us to our menu settings. So this is where you can select your menu. Currently, I haven't created a menu, but that is where you go and um, uh, select or target your menu. Next, here is your logo area. So this is where you delete this and add your own logo. And then over here on the elements, you can add your shopping cart icon if your website sells items and also you can add a search icon. But if you don't need any of these two, just leave these unchecked. Next, I'm going to come over here to design. And this is where you can go in and stylize everything that we have here. So let's start with our menu text. So on our menu text here, you can change the font. So let's say you want to change this to Poppins, for example. You can see here right away this font has been updated. And uh, if you want to change the font weight, you can just do it by coming over here. So this is how you change it. And let's say you want to uh, change your colors. This is where you would add your colors. And instantly you can see that has been updated. All right, so I'm going to close out of here. Next, let's take a look here at this button that we have here at the top. So to change your button or to customize it, all you need to do is to go into the settings. So I'm going to click here on this gear icon. So this is where you change your button text. So let's say this is a download. I can just type in here, download. And if I need to add my link, I can just come over here, add my button link. For now, I'm just going to add a default link. And then if I need to customize this, I can always go into design. And then I can start customizing my button by coming over here to button. And these are the colors that we have. So our button text color, we can change this to this yellow. And we can also change our button background color if we need to do that over here. So you can see now that this is updating. You can also play around with the border width. So you can make it bigger here or you can make it smaller or get rid of it altogether. All right, so that's all we have here on the button. So I'm going to close out of here. Now we also have our social media icons over here. So we can also go in and uh, make some changes to our social media icons. 
Now, if it's difficult for you to select them here, all you have to do is to come over here to expand settings, click on this layers icon, and now we can go into our section and uh, we can drill down and uh, target our social media icons here. So I'm gonna click on this gear icon here. And now we are in our social media follow settings. So let's say you want to add another one. All you have to do is to duplicate this one here, click on this gear icon, and on this drop down, you can choose whichever one that you want to add. So let's say you want to add YouTube. So you can see that uh, YouTube has been added. And this is where you add your link URL to your profile page. So I'm going to add a default one here. Now, if you want to go in and change the colors, you can also do that by coming over here into design and uh, go to icon. And these are our icon colors. So you can change this icon color to whatever color you want but we're just going to keep this simple. Okay, so that is how you add your links and also how you change those icons. Next, let's go into our section settings here in case you want to know how to change that background color. So to change it, you can just click here and you can see there by just clicking on that, this has changed our background color, but we're going to leave this as it is. Close out of here. And for this other section as well, if you want to make changes to it, this is where you'd go to our section settings, go into our background and uh, we can play around with the colors here. You can see as I'm moving my pointer here, I'm changing my colors there in the background. So pretty much this is how you customize or change any settings on your header. So let's close out of here and uh, let me show you how to do the same to the footer. So I'm going to say discard and exit and to go into the footer settings, it's the same thing. You click here on this pencil icon. So now that we're in our builder, we can go in and start customizing this. So first of all, let's take a look at these, these links here. So I'm going to show you how to do one of them. So right now I'm in my blurb module. You can see here, this is the home. So if you want to make any changes to this, you can always go in and type in here, whatever link you want to type in. And uh, further down here on the link, this is where you want to add your title link. So you want to make sure that this is linking to the right place. Now let's take a look at how we can stylize this. So first of all, in our text, I'm going to click here on this paintbrush tool. So this is heading four. You can change your font over here to match the rest of your website. If you want to decrease the size, you can just come over here to title text size, make it smaller. And uh, let's say you want to change the color as well. You can always come over here, change the color so you can see it's updating here easily. So this is how you go in and customize all these links. But the most important thing is make sure you go in here and add your link. OK, all right. So I'm going to close out of here. Next, now let's take a look at uh, this area here. So here we have our call to action. If you want to go into this and customize it, you just click here on our module settings. And again, you can see here it says free 30 minutes. You can change this to 40 minutes if you want. So pretty much that's what we can do. And uh, if you want to change the uh, text itself, you can just come over here to your text settings and then you can change your font over here. Now let's take a look at uh, this button. So this button, the changes are pretty much similar to what I showed you there in the header. So to make changes to this, you just come over here to design button. And over here is where you stylize it and make all your changes. Now let's take a look at this bottom area here. So again, these are all text modules. So if I go in here, I can change my email here. There we go. So you can see it's been updated quickly. Save that. And then over here, we also have our phone number. You can go in and change that. Our social media icons, it's pretty much the same as what I did on the header, you can just go in here. If you need to remove any, you can just delete it by clicking on this trash icon. Or if you want to add your links, you can just go into this gear icon, click on link and add your link over here. Once you're done with that, you hit save, save again, and we're good to go. Finally, over here on the bottom, we can also go in and customize this text. So I'm going to click here on this gear icon. So this is where you'd add your company name. And if you want to stylize the text, you can just come over here to our text and we can reduce the letter spacing. If we need to, we can change the size. We can also remove the caps. And if you need to change the color, we can just go in and change the color like that. And once you're happy with all of that, you can just hit save and your footer is pretty much almost ready. 
Right, so let's take a look at the colors. How do we customize the colors that we have here? So if I click on this gear icon, our section settings, and we go to our background, we notice that this is our main color. So as soon as I go in and change it, you can see there that this has highlighted our color. Okay, so that's the main area that you change your colors. Now we also have this shape here on top and this is our divider. So if we click here on design and go to our dividers, we can see that this is our divider. And this also has a color. So if I click here, you can see now it is changing color. And this is where you'd go and change your divider color. So let's close out of here. Next, we're going to take a look here at um, the section settings of this area here of our site. Again, I'm going to go to my background and to change my color, I can just uh, click anywhere in here to change my colors. But what I've noticed as well is we have this gradient. So this is where you would go in as well and start messing about with your gradient. So you can see there, I can change my colors quickly and I can also change this one right here. And we also have an image here and this image has stars in it. And if you want to use that, you can use it or you can delete it all together. All right, so I'm going to close out of here. And pretty much this is how we customize our footer. Now for this page to look great, it needs to also work with the accompanying layout pack. So let's go in and let me show you how to add one. So I'm going to click here on edit with the Divi Builder. Next, I'm going to come over here, click these three little dots, click on the plus button. And in our pre-made layouts, we're going to search for the layout. And then I can choose the layout that I want. So I'm going to go with this one here, use this layout. So now that my layout has been added, we can go in and customize our text by going into each and every one of these modules. So now I'm going to save this and exit the Visual Builder. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.